I would consider this an actual downgrade. You only have one customizable button. With the original Voice Remote Pro, I have two buttons. Do you see a headphone jack? No, you don't. It's blank. If you're a person that does have headphone wires, this is going to be a big deal, which is ridiculous. So we're going to be taking some time today to talk about the announcements that Roku has made yesterday regarding a new update for Roku OS 13 and announcing new products. The main product I'm going to be focusing on today is the Voice Remote Pro 2. And I'm just going to get started right away by saying don't get the Voice Remote Pro 2. Now, why is that the case? Well, let's dive in and let's talk about it. So, when they announced the Roku Voice Remote Pro 2 by Roku, when they announced it, they talked about how the remote was going to have longer lasting rechargeable battery, backlit buttons, hands free and push to talk voice controls, voice activated lost remote finder, TV, power, volume, and mute buttons. You know, all that stuff. The main, the main thing that I would probably say, okay, go out and get the Voice Remote Pro 2 is, you know, one or two things. First up, if you don't mind the backlit, you know, buttons, if you want that, then yeah, go ahead and get the Voice Remote Pro 2. Or if you want to have USB type C charging, you know, if you want to have a remote that has USB type C, okay, then those are the two things that I would say, okay, go out, get the voice remote Pro 2. Other than that, I would consider this an actual downgrade because if you look at the website for Roku where they have the voice remote Pro 2 and, you know, they have a lot of images of it there's two things missing first of all let, actually let's let's compare the voice remote pro 2 to the original voice remote pro which i have with me on the voice remote pro original first of all on the front of the remote you have two buttons which both of them are customizable which is one and two customizable buttons you know you can have one button to go to YouTube and the second button go to Pluto TV for example or you can change it up to do whatever you want like you know do a voice command launch the Roku channel have a live TV guide sleep timer if you have a Roku TV close captions you know you have those options when you're setting up the you know shortcut buttons on the voice remote for one but now on the Voice Remote Pro 2, you only have one customizable button. Now, actually, let me read this to you and show you an image of it for yourself. And who knows, maybe if I'm wrong and maybe one of the buttons is customizable like the other, maybe we'll know. But, you know, from based on what I'm seeing, this is how it's going to work with the Voice Remote Pro 2 when it comes to the shortcut buttons. There's going to be only one shortcut button, which is called Quick Launch, which does the same thing that I just mentioned with the Voice Remote Pro 1, except that, again, it only works with one button. And replacing the shortcut 1 button is the Live TV Guide, which, you know, assuming, you know, I'm correct, the Live TV Guide is powered by the Roku channel and you should know how that works so you know if you don't mind that you know having a live TV guide and having only one shortcut button okay then fine go and get the voice remote pro 2 but once again with the original voice remote pro I have two buttons that are both customizable so you know if I want to right now I can press and hold one and make that one button the live TV guide button or again do whatever I want to do with the shortcut one button launch my apps 
closed captioning, turn on and off, voice command button, whatever I want with it. With the Voice Remote Pro 1, I can customize both of these buttons however I want. Again, with the Voice Remote Pro 2, only one button. And the other button is, you know, Live TV Guide, which, again, I could be wrong, but based on what I'm reading, uncustomizable. But that's not the most important reason why I don't recommend getting the Voice Remote Pro 2. And focus on the left side of it. Do you see a headphone jack? No, you don't. It's blank. Not once on the Roku website does it mention or in the announcements that it's going to keep the headphone jack. Now, you may not mind it or maybe you're a person that, you know, you don't even have a headphone wire anymore. So it may not be a big deal to you. But if you're a person that does have headphone wires, this is going to be a big deal for you. Again, if you have a headphone wire, you do not have a headphone jack anymore with the voice remote port two, which is ridiculous. Maybe you're charging your phone up and you don't want to use the Roku app while your phone is charging and you want to watch a late night movie. You have a headphone jack on the voice remote pro original. So you'll be able to listen to your late night movies, TV, whatever. We're having to, you know, having to use your phone. You have it built in to the Voice Remote Pro original. Voice Remote Pro 2, you don't have it. Again, look at the images. No headphone jack, nothing. So those are the two big reasons why I'm saying do not get the Voice Remote Pro 2. Now, if you don't mind a headphone jack, if you don't mind having, you know, only one customizable shortcut button, Go and get the Voice Remote Pro 2. Again, backlit keys, you have everything from the Voice Remote Pro. Plus, you have, you know, extra battery life with it on the Voice Remote Pro 2. You're getting that. On the Voice Remote Pro 1, again, headphone jack, you're getting two customizable shortcut buttons. The only downside is that it doesn't have, you know, extra battery life. It doesn't have USB Type-C and there's no backlit keys those are the only downsides to it but in my opinion it doesn't even matter to me you know if you get a voice remote pro original you're gonna have the usb the original usb charger with it in my opinion if you want to get the Roku voice remote pro get the original do not get the voice remote pro 2 that thing is you know even though it may have backlit keys, USB type C, you know, a little bit lackluster for me to go out recommending it. Now, if you want to get the voice remote pro 2, that's up to you. Maybe if you disagree with my opinion, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, does it matter to you if your voice remote pro has a headphone jack or two shortcut buttons? Because again, with the Voice Remote Pro original, you're getting that. Voice Remote Pro 2, you're not getting it. So let me know in the comments if that matters. Now, with that aside, Roku also announced Roku OS 13. So let's talk about that as well as we wrap this video up. That's another thing that I'm considering lackluster as well. For instance, they mentioned with the update, they have new features like IMDb ratings and trailers. Now, here's the thing. I have Roku OS 12.5 and even way, way before they announced this new feature, I was randomly surfing through my Roku and I saw the IMDB ratings. I was like, oh cool, they have ratings. I mean, not a big deal to me, but they have it. But, you know. And now weeks later, they're mentioning it as a new feature for Roku OS 13. Weird to me, you know, if it's weird to you, let me know. Maybe not, let me know if you want. But weird to me that they have Roku OS 12.5 and they have the INDB ratings feature already out and the trailer, you know, to seamlessly view trailers already on there. And now, Days, weeks later, they're now announcing it as a 
World Crew OS 13 update. So weird and lackluster. Another new feature that they announced is save list. So now you know it's gonna let you know in the save list when you save your social movies if there's any notifications with regarding price drops on your shows or movies that you save that you want to view on rental services it's going to move the shows and movies to the front of the list and let you know about that again kind of weird that they are bringing this you know talking about because if you had a Roku many years ago you should remember this thing called my feed and it literally did the same thing it told you about price drops it told you about new seasons new episodes of TV shows new movies it did all of that and now years later after getting rid of my feed bringing the save list they're now bringing that feature back and calling it something new when it's something that they could have added day one that's weird to me next they have another thing called backdrops and you know again another thing you know if you already have a Roku this is currently known as the Roku photo feed where if you add pictures any picture you want onto your Roku account it's going to pop up on your Roku device TV or player as a screensaver so now they're changing it up and they're calling it backdrops and they're adding new features that allows you to view art you know artworks you know from museums or kid paintings and other things like that so that's what they're calling this feature now backdrops renaming it from Roku for the feed to backdrops and adding that feature in it where you can take a look at museum art paintings and other things like that and again you can add your own photos just like you done with Roku photo feed so that's another feature that they're bringing on here I think what may be the main feature is Roku smart picture so this is the new feature where you know I may consider major where you know you know instead of having to go into settings on your TV show while you're watching it and having to manually switch your picture settings switch your colors switch your scenery and all that Roku is going to automatically adjust it adjust the backlighting the colors and all of that to offer better viewing experience so you know you don't have to worry about manually adjusting your picture settings it's going to automatically do that with the Roku smart picture feature so you know maybe that might be a positive update you know a update that maybe you might like or maybe not like you know up to you if you like it or not as for the Roku mobile app they have features for as well where the navigation bar is going to be streamlined so they're going to change up the UI a little bit have the home button the search button remote devices and account plus they're going to have top search movies and TV you know they have a wall so they're going to let you know popular content that is available across the platform of Roku apps and according to them find content that's popular with other streamers across the platform so yeah keep that noted also they're gonna have a new look for search results when browsing new categories and or actors and then finally they have cars in Roku City something that you know if you love Roku City they're extending it a little bit so they're having roads with cards and all of that so you know that's what they're having on Roku OS 13 again the big feature that I may consider is the smart picture to automatically adjust 
the pics on your TV. So you don't have to manually do it yourself. Probably the second update that is big is the backdrops where they're going to add museum art, paintings, and all of that. Everything else, meh, M-E-H, meh. I mean, it's another lackluster update from Roku. They could have added major new features like, you know, even take ideas from other streamers and implement it into the OS and make it a nice major update like profiles, parental controls, kids mode, you know, dive into previews of shows that are available on channels that you're about to view. They could have did all of that, but they didn't want to. They could even, you know, simplify the UI, make it a little bit better. But again, they didn't did none of that. So little lackluster update from Roku. The folders. Add app folders onto the Roku. You know let me see all my free streaming services in a folder. Let me see the live TV, the subscriptions in a folder, kids apps for the kids. Let me make a folder for them. They could have did that as well. But again, they didn't want to do that. So in conclusion, another lackluster Roku OS update that we are so looking forward to, aren't we at all? All right. Um, a little bit different uh, type of a video as you can tell me getting a little bit loose a little bit bringing more of my opinions than what you typically expect in a Roku in our video if you like it let me know in the comments if you don't you know let me know as well all right that's it for this edition of Roku now hopefully you got the most out of your Roku experience for this video thanks for watching and I will see you next time